Hey guys, so welcome back to WP Event Manager. And today we're gonna talk about the code WP Event Manager plugin and its organizer section. So before we covered the organizer section a little bit in our adding event, modifying events videos, and today we're gonna focus solely on the organizer section. So why wait? Let's get started. Firstly, we're gonna hover over the event manager on the our backend side, and we will go to organizers. So this is the organizer dashboard over here and we can create, modify and delete organizers from here. As you can see, we have two organizers already added over here. We're not going to show you the edit options now as of now. So let's go ahead and add a new one. Okay. So this is the uh, UI to add a new organizer. So let's add a name for our organizer. Let's say WP event manager. And we can type in a description for our organizer as well. So below the description section, you will see some uh, input fields that accept some social data such as website, email, and like their social links as well, like Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. And from the right hand side, we can set a logo for our organizer as well. So let's select this one and we're going to publish the organizer. And that's how simple it is to create an organizer from the back inside. Let's take a little bit look into the uh, dashboard over here. So from here, you can trash the organizer, view the organizer and edit the organizer as well. This is the UI to edit the organizer. Okay. Now we're going to go to our front end side to view the organizer section in the front end, right? We have an organizer dashboard that comes pre-installed with WP Event Manager. And we can see all the organizers listed over here. We can see the events count for them as well. And we can edit them from here. We can copy the organizer or duplicate it and even trash it. So the add organizer button will take us to our organizer submission form in the front end side. Pretty much simple. Organizer name, their logo, their description, and their email then the social links right if we hit submit it will go ahead and create an organizer for you and one cool thing about wp event manager is this is the latest addiction to the wp event manager if we go to event dashboard and let's create a new event right so suppose you already uh, populated these fields over here with your uh, appropriate event data you can leave this page and come back here to get those data back but uh, keeping that aside, suddenly you realize you didn't add your organizer uh, to the website and you need to add them. No need to go to the uh, the organizer dashboard over here and reload this page to get it back. What you can do right below the organizer selection section over here, you will see a little button that says here. You can click that and it will open a neat little pop up for you that will let you add a new organizer for your event. Right. So you fill this out and you click on add organizer. Then what you can do, you can click over here and the organizer you have just created will show up over here automatically without reloading the page. Pretty neat, right? We know. So this is the latest addition to the WP Event Manager family. Same applies for the venue as well. We have a dedicated video about that. So I hope this gave you a little bit of idea that how the organizer works and we're going to take a look at it shortly how it looks in the front end side but for now i hope you understood how to add an organizer how to modify them and how they both works from the both side front end and back end so let's go to event dashboard and we'll open this event if you scroll down you will see the organizer section down here right so this is the organizer logo their description and more info will take us to the organizers page you will see their social links over here if we added any as well so that's pretty much concludes this video we can't go on any longer about the organizer functions i hope you enjoyed watching it if you did leave a like subscribe to the channel all that good stuff until then i'm Sharad saying goodbye thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one